Hey guys, it is Sunday, and I just got a call from a buddy of mine from out of town, and uh, let me know that he is about 10 minutes out. I'm going to go meet him at the shop, and him and his wife have come to take a look at it. So we're heading out to the shop right now. Big diesel Chevy up there ahead. Sounds pretty good. So they're gonna take it for a test drive, see what they think. I showed them all the gadgets and whatnot, and uh, so far they're liking it. And now here's a vehicle, a 2007 Camry, that I sold these guys back, oh, must be four or five years ago now, and they are pushing almost 400,000 kilometers on it. And you've seen my video before on what it takes to get a Toyota to last that many kilometers. I'll put that link in the in the card right above. But it has seen wear and tear. We got a little crack in the bumper there. Little dent that might buff out. Down here, a little bit of rust in the bottom of the door. Oh, what's that say? Nice. Yeah, she's got a few dents, hail dents or something. I don't know they were chopping the ice off the roof or what they were doing with it. But all in all, with the amount of miles it's on it, it's been certainly holding its own. Oh, got a few sheet metal screws coming through there. I don't believe they're trading this in. They are looking for a second vehicle. So, so hopefully they'll like this Ford Escape. And so far they do. So hopefully they like the way it drives and its comfort and the heated seats, the sunroof, all the goodies. And uh, maybe we can make a sale today. Hey Junior, I smell shenanigans, and it's for sale. Totally got to go check that out. Thirty-five hundred bucks, eh? Still got the bucket seats in it. Lots of tread on the tires, and burn them for a little while. Definitely see the markings, definitely see the markings GRC and RCMP, so this is obviously an XRCMP car. A little bit of rust coming through there. Somebody's got her inspected. I don't know, Junior. What do you think? My personal opinion is that that might be a good car for 3500 bucks. But I can probably go to the auction and buy one myself for 15, 1800 bucks, maybe two grand tops. So, if we ever feel like shenanigans, that might be the way to go. So, while we were in St. John yesterday, I had to stop off at the Nissan dealer to pick up one of these. And what it is, is it's an FM antenna for the Nissan Rogue. As you can see, there's not one on this vehicle because Dad lifted the vehicle up on the hoist when the garage door was open, so it kind of snapped it off. But it is what it is, and nothing 80 bucks can't fix. Can you imagine 80 bucks for an antenna? listens to the radio these days anyway well, yes, I do I listen to the radio so if that was my vehicle I guess I'd want the antenna on there so while we're sitting here waiting for them to come back from their test drive I'm gonna test a theory one of the things that uh, early on in my sales career uh, in my car sales career that uh, somebody taught me was that when a customer brings a vehicle back from a test drive and they don't park it back in the same place that it was, things are looking good. So basically, if they just drive it in or just pull up to the side of the building or what have you, it's generally a pretty good indication that they're interested in the vehicle and you can go from there. So we'll see 
if when Kyle and Jen come back, if they just drive it in or if they take the time to turn around and back it in. And uh, we're just going to test the theory to see if there's interest in that vehicle. So far, so good. We know that they're interested. That's why they're here, and that's why they drove um, all the way from Chance Harbor. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. Theory's not looking so good. Well, so much for that theory. Well, my theory did not work out at all. They parked the vehicle, and as you can tell by the sign, this one is sold, and I'm happy about it. It is Monday, and it is a wet start to the week, but we will make the best of it. So let's get started. So yes, it's Monday, and I told you in one of my previous uploads that there was gonna be an off-site sale from the Dodge dealer, and uh, I was right. So last week they were in St. George, this week they are in St. Stephen, so. And hopefully we can see some benefits of that sale at our dealership. So um, not much to report on today other than that. Uh, tomorrow hopefully we can have some more content for you. We've been keeping busy working on a lot of our own stuff today, trying to get caught up so that we can be ready for the busy spring season if it ever gets here. So my wife has just asked me to stop at the grocery store and pick up a couple of things before I head home for supper. So that's what I'm doing. Is it wrong of us as society in this speedy, fast food, fast paced world that we live in today to get annoyed that it takes eight minutes to get through the grocery lineup? Maybe I am wrong for thinking that, but I just went into the superstore to buy a bag of hamburger buns for supper tonight. They had two cashiers on and the place was just packed. So uh, yes, I was a little bit annoyed that there was only two cashiers on, but in retrospect, it only took me eight minutes to get through the lineup. So why do we find ourselves annoyed that things don't happen as fast as we want them to. I don't know, society has made us that way, I guess. But uh, at the end of the day, I've got hamburger buns for supper. Water is really rushing today. It's Tuesday and I'm excited for Tuesday. Why? Because it's garbage day. No, that's not why I'm excited. I'm excited because it's a new day. So we've got the 2008 Pontiac Pursuit or Pontiac G5, whatever you want to call it. And surprisingly, it's in really good shape. And the only reason why I say surprisingly is uh, simply because it's been sitting in the backyard here for, oh, since last summer sometime. We just haven't gotten to it. Um, the rotors, I probably were fine, but we replaced them anyways because they were so rusty and would likely make noise. Um, and other than that, we had a, a broken coil spring underneath the car, and so we're gonna replace that spring in a bad shock, and, and there's the new spring and shock right there. But like I said, the car itself is in really good shape for only 122,000 kilometers. This is something that we'll probably put on the lot for somewhere around 2,400 bucks, 2,500 bucks. Uh, depending on what the ultimate cost is, uh, but nevertheless, I think it's going to be a really good car for somebody. And then we've got the Kia Soul. We got it back, and uh, and Junior started cleaning that up yesterday. The exterior of the car is in exceptional shape. I mean, it's a 14 after all, and it's only 88,000 kilometers. It will certainly brighten up the lot for us. So just so you all know, I am so conflicted on whether or not I want a play toy, another play toy. I just can't seem to bring myself to spend 3500 bucks. But like I said before, I can probably go to the auction, pick one up for 1500 to 2000 bucks, And have just as much fun with it. So, guys, leave your opinion in the comments section below. Do you think I should get myself another little hot rod, a little play toy to burn around with in the summertime? Or uh, do you think I should just stick with the old Mopar? How you doing? Not too bad.
Great, thank you. And folks, that is just how easy for a local it is to enter into another country. And now we're coming back into Canada with my McDonald's. How you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. You back? Just my lunch. Have a good day. Great, thank you. Good days to be local. So we finally received our Jeep from Quebec. It's not exactly as advertised. For some reason, they've got this 2017 license plate on the vehicle. But the vehicle is not a 2017, it's a 2014, and I knew that when I was buying it. But it is sometimes one of the tactics that a new car dealer will use when sending a vehicle to the auction. Uh, we've seen it several times where uh, they get 2017 on the license plate, even though it's a 14, and subconsciously thinking that people will pay a little bit more money for that vehicle. I didn't fall for it because, like I said, I knew I was bidding on a 14, but nevertheless, uh, proof is in the pudding. Not a bad looking Jeep though. We gotta see if we can find some wheels for it because it's just got the 15 inch steelies. It does have uh, deep tinted windows on the side. All around, nice looking rig. We're gonna see if we can find some wheels for it and get through the shop. So I got a call from uh, my honey today telling me she smells antifreeze and the old toy roller. So, we're going to see if we can find out where it's coming from. 381,937 miles. Well, I don't see any antifreeze leak in here. This little leak here, I would say, might just be an axle seal. But it sounds like she's got a steady bearing going in the axle. We'll do an oil change and grease everything up while it's under here, or while I'm under here. So we could not find a coolant leak in the old Toy Rolla. But we did change the maple syrup and the maple syrup filter. And like I said before, we did find the uh, passenger side CV axle, the bearing. There's a steady bearing in there. Uh, the bearing is dry and bad and it's causing a little bit of a squeak and uh, vibration under acceleration. So I had to order one of those and hopefully we'll have that in a couple of days. We get that fixed up and get her back on the road. Well guys, that's going to do it for another video. I uh, really appreciate the fact that you guys tune in and all the subscribers, the new subscribers that, that we're gaining for the channel. And I think the last I checked, we were up over 140. Uh, so based on this time last week, we were basically at 100. And uh, so now we are gaining uh, fairly quickly, and I'm excited about that. Like I said, hoping to reach that next goal of 1,000. It would be nice if we could do that by the end of the year. So guys, keep tuning in. Keep hitting that like button, and don't be afraid to comment in the section below. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll put some more videos up here for you guys to watch. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next upload.